Hello, hi everyone. This is Elite Drafting and Design. Um, I thought I would do a quick tutorial on how to do a cathedral or also known as vaulted ceiling in Chief Architect. Um, yeah, so here's a picture of what this would look like at the end. Um, just a simple building. I'm on a model with a vaulted roof to show you guys how you guys can get this look. Um, more than that, I'm actually going to explain to you um, what the detail actually looks like, right? So we're going to start off with having asphalt shingles, then we're going to have a plywood roof sheathing or OSB, uh, then you're going to have air ventilation um, space, so three inches, and then uh, the cavity is going to be used for blown in insulation or cellulose insulation, and then we're going to have two inch rigid insulation placed on top of the scissor trusses, and then we're going to have, obviously we're going to have scissor trusses, and then you'll have a polyethylene vapor barrier underneath that before we apply our one inch tongue and groove wood ceiling and then under that will be our fall beams which are also known as like your non-structural hollow beams and we'll use soffits to actually make these because a soffit is hollow so just to model what what that beam would actually look like so yeah so without further ado let's let's get going and let's start this so before I start, um, I'm actually just going to go into my default settings. And again, you can do this per roof plane too, but for me, it just makes sense to do it this way. Is I click Audible re Roofs. I'm going to try to use the auto functions that the ch that Chief Architect actually has to offer. So let's do that. So we're going to have a 12-inch heel height, 6-inch truss pitch. Uh, we're just, you know, default 18-inch overhang is fine. For our options, uh, we can do, uh, we can have a box deep. That's fine. Um, and then, yeah, we do want a ridge vent um, for structure. So this is where we would actually come in. Make sure we were actually putting the the stuff that I just mentioned to you before for the shingles, the sheathing, the ventilation space, uh, the the rigid insulation, the tongue and groove ceiling, all that, right? So, okay, so. Uh, I'm actually going to first edit the surface here. So on the surface layer, the asphalt, roo the asphalt roofing is fine. The the OSB, I'm just going to change this to a three quarter inch. That's the only change I'm making with this. Just a bit of a thicker plywood. You can also, um, if you're going to use plywood, you can just put plywood as a material. Um, yeah. So then then we'll move on to the structure itself. So the structure is. Uh, is basically like I mentioned we're gonna insert some layers here and we're gonna make sure these two layers are not checked as um, framing right because the framing we wanted to build the framing we wanted to build the trusses but this is not framing we're actually going to change this to a two inch rigid insulation so we'll click in here go to plan materials or library materials wh wherever you can find insulation but I have it right here, so insulation rigid, two inch. Uh, and then on top of that, we want a three inch air gap for just, you know, insulation. So again, go to plan material for me, insulation air gap. There we go. So that's what it looks like, right? Uh, we do want um, ventilation space over the insulation and a roof sheathing, hence the three inch insulation air gap here. Um, yeah, so make sure the framing is not, sorry about that, make sure the insulation is not, uh, you don't have the framing ticked off for these layers, just the actual truss. We'll hit OK there. We will include um, soffits. Um, I do not want a ridge because we want, we're going to build trusses here. Um, and then the only change I'm going to make here is just the gable and the e-fascia. I'm going to make these like 11.5 inches just so that nothing is exposed for our framing. And that is pretty much it. And you can change all that stuff later if you want to mess around with the gutters and all that. But that that's the only change we need. Uh, and then I'm going to go ahead and create like a 30 feet by a 20, actually let's go 26 feet. Um, 26 feet roof. Uh, and just to get that same sort of feel as what I was showing in that image, let's just throw in some windows here. Uh, and then I'm going to throw in maybe three windows here and maybe just two here and just one back here. So 
there we go uh, I am gonna turn on the perspective full overview just so you guys can see what this looks like right now okay so first things first I want this to be a gable and I want this also to be a gable so then we get this look for the house so everything looks great but if we go inside we can see we actually have a flat ceiling above this whole space um, and also if you check out the framing right right now we have our traditional framing of the house built and we actually have just straight up trusses uh, these are not such trusses right now so how we get this as a trusses is we actually would have to go in this room and I'm actually gonna just make this a great room or you can call it whatever but let's just say this is just a house for structure we actually want to remove the flat ceiling over this room for ceiling finish this is where we actually want this ceiling finish to not be a drywall, right? We wanted that one inch TNG, so I'm going to put that here. And in my materials, I'm just going to search TNG here to see what we get. We get all these uh, cool, let's go with this one. Okay, perfect. Um, all looks good. If we hit OK, there we go. So you can see we have our vaulted ceiling right here. Now if we go back to the framing, the problem here is, as you can see, there's no trusses anymore. So how do you get those trusses back? Well, you actually have to build ceiling planes. Okay. So for that, you'll go in here and you'll basically have to create a ceiling plane. Once you've created a ceiling plane, you will change the pitch. So I'll change it to a three inch for structure. We actually don't want any framing for that. The ceiling, we, we wanna keep that ceiling that we had specified already. So now if we go in here, you can see the one side is already made and you can see there's there's this cavity in the roof structure now. So that's where those scissor trusses will get built. Um, now all we gotta do is just take this ceiling plane. You can make another one or you know, might as well just use it and flip it over. And there we go. So there's your vaulted ceiling. And then if you look in 3D now, you can see that cavity is being filled with our scissor trusses. So, so far so good. Now, so basically, really, you are pretty much done at this point. Um, the only thing left to really do is get those fall uh, beams modeled in. The way to do that would be um, depending on how you want to do it, um, you can do basically that first image I showed you, you can do that too. Uh, the other thing you can actually do is you can also have, well, actually I do both, right? In that one, I've got beams going uh, up and down as well as left to right. So let's just do that again, just to show you guys what that looks like. But yeah, if you click on the uh, cabinet tools, click on soffit, I'm actually going to place soffit just here somewhere and we're just gonna make it go the whole length and essentially I want it to be an 8 inch by 24 inch hollow beam and I can say place under ceiling and yeah let, let's see what this actually looks like right now so you can see that is what it's gonna do so maybe 24 inch is a bit of an overkill so I'm actually uh, maybe only do like 12 inches and again we want to make sure we place it under the ceiling so yeah that looks more like it and then what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to center this on here and then we'll use our uh, replicate and then yeah every four feet sounds good let's do two here let's do two here and there we go so that's what this looks like um and of course it's not putting them under the ceiling so make sure you say place under ceiling and there you go there we have it okay now for the other direction similar you could just take one of these and just kind of paste it somewhere and then uh, rotate it similarly you know do your thing and I'm actually gonna center this in the room maybe 
But yeah, I mean, you can play around with it all you want, but at the end of the day, I'm just trying to create that just to show you guys how to get to that that look. But yeah, so like now I'm just going to delete the intermediate ones. Oops, sorry. There we go. So obviously, as you can see, that's not how we want it. So all you do is really, um, you can just pick these and just again say place under ceiling and it'll fix it. There you go. Um, oh, right. What I messed up is you don't want it to go the full length. You only want it to go halfway. Like that. And then you'll have to flip, flip it over for it to work properly. So we'll just select all of these again. Shift select, copy, rotate, and we'll just, I don't know what happened there. Let's try that again. Copy, and maybe we'll just go point to point. And let's see if that actually worked. So something is still not working in the way I did this. So I'm just going to shift select them all and say place under ceiling. And also these ones, we're going to say open them up, place them under ceiling, and then we're going to get the look we're wanting. And there you go. That's how you do it. And then if you want to apply a wood material to this, you can. Um, uh, I'm just going to search wood and any that I kind of like. Let's go with it. Oh, let's try red oak, whatever. And that's pretty much how you would do it. And a quick way to um, actually change the material uh, or the paint is you just you can easily do that. And it'll change all the walls for you. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much how you actually do a wall to ceiling in Chief Architect. Uh, fairly easy to do, a bit time consuming, but the nice thing of, of doing it this way is now when you actually go take a backflip cross section through your house, you have this like modeled exactly how you want. So if you, for example, take this and also enable framing. So if we go to framing, let's just turn all the framings on. Uh, framing of oh, bridging and yeah let's just turn them all on and you can see like you've done most of the work already for for your cross-section detail your your insulation is going to show up um, everything is just going to work right let's work now so you can see it's, it's working well um, again the way this is maybe it works well in 3D. It looks kind of funky in here, but they would really, these would really need to get trimmed. So you can decide how you want this to show in in your um, CAD section. I mean, that being said, you can even remove them, right, and then just model something in with 2D lines if you really wanted to. But your structure for your ceiling is pretty much detailed out, and you have your ridge vent there as well. Yeah, that's pretty much it, and uh, I guess just to show you guys what this looks like uh, with some physical based ray trace you can see it looks really beautiful actually um, I'm actually just gonna maybe change this to 300 so it loads up nice and quick for us here but yeah as promised this is exactly the look I had in that image I showed you earlier just I think some of the materials I swapped out but that's pretty much it thanks for tuning in and uh, please like and subscribe and comment and if there's anything particular you want to see get done 
uh, in chief, let me know, and I'll I'll make a good t quick tutorial if if I know how to do it. <laughs> but yeah, have a nice day. See you guys again.